Okay. This is one of the latest projects in the cab. What do we have here? What we have here is a uh, pretty cool 67 AMC Rebel 770 343 Hypo motor. This little jewel's for sale. As you can see, uh, one of the things original black plates with the original selling dealer. License plate frame. Original color. Running killer. Queued up. Yup. Little dirty. Dusty. Just got tinted windows. Had those done a couple weeks ago. See the car straight. Runs really good. So let's take a quick look inside what we got here. Let me shut this little jewel off. As you can see, the original interior. Original back seat. Got a couple tears on the front seats. Original carpet. Not so good in the driver's side, but the rest of it's cherry. What do we have here? 49,000 661 miles. You can see it's cherry. Just cool stuff. What do you have here in the glove box? I've got the original manuals that came with this car, including the original Protecto plate that came with the car. Was originally bought by a little old lady in Pasadena. There it is right there. This stuff you just you do not see. But that's what this car is all about. You can see the factory manuals. Even got a road atlas, rebel owner's manual, equipment manual. Even the original American Motors plastic that it came in. That's all with it. Yeah, it's got an AM radio in it. Works fine. You know, it sits sideways in the dash. Everything's good. Yep. <laughs> got a dash in the speaker dash. It's on Gizmodo. Ah, there you go. 5.30 p.m. on opening day. Yep. So that's what we got there. Factory AC car, power steering. You can see right here, she's looking good. It, it's not perfect. Let's go open the hood real quick. Yep, the tent makes all the difference in the world. So there it is. Under the hood, we have an all original 343 Typhoon high compression four barrel motor. All original. Still has the original smog pump on it. Works bitchin'. Even the original red bag that holds the windshield washer fluid. I brought the sucker back to life. Put a ton of money in, but she works good. Let's uh, walk around. You can see that... Uh, let me roll the window up. You can see just how cool it is spent a ton of money just on getting the windows custom tinted you can see these things are super bitching they're all done with a 3m high dollar tint and this keeps the sun out of the car and really gives it that look We've got real american racing torque thrust wheels front and back I put duels on it with stainless tips with factory type mufflers. You know, just trying to keep it pretty original. I even have the original wheels and tires in the trunk. Here's what we got. She's all there. This is even the original spare tire, biased. Yup. But yeah, that's it. She's all here. You can see she's nice. It's not perfect, but uh, 
a fine example of 1967. And uh, she's a bitching car. She really is. But she's got to go to a new home. Had a bunch of offers on her, but kind of sticking tight on it. The car's so rare. But if you like her, uh, send me an email. DRQ Performance at Yahoo. Yep. See the black plate on the front. Bumpers are nice. Just a bitching car. I mean, there's not much to say. I'm not saying it because it's mine. I'm just saying it because it is. And if you enjoy these old cars, rare muscle cars, this might be something you might be interested in. Talk to you later.